missionaries in Ecuador. God is busy weaving a beautiful tapestry, one of his own design. It's on every one of our lives, and it connects us to one another. We want you to weave your own tapestry in your mind. What do you envision when you think of Ecuador? What tapestry have you woven in your mind? What does it look like? Well, to the tapestry that you have woven, Add these threads. Ecuador is a Catholic country. When you think Catholic, don't think U.S. Catholicism. This particular brand of Catholicism was used as a controlling force by the conquistadors and many people after them. Perhaps the best illustration of this is found in one of the cathedrals in Quito. It has three doors. The upper class are allowed to use the middle door and are greeted by a mural of heaven when they enter. The side doors are reserved for the mixed and indigenous, the lower classes. When they enter, all they are able to see of the mural is hell. The message is clear. Heaven and paradise are for the social betters. Hell, fear, and loathing is for everyone else. This causes the poor to try to earn their way to heaven. In the little town of El Quinche, there is a shrine, an icon of the Virgin Mary. Though the poor have very little money, they willingly give it so that the Reina del El Quinche is housed in a large gilded cathedral. Each year there is a pilgrimage to this shrine. People will walk miles, some on their knees, to pay homage to the icon in hopes of being let into heaven. What's missing from the Ecuadorian tapestry? The threads of hope, grace, and salvation. The threads that project the image of our loving God and His indelible mark on us. Just how many people are living in a tapestry void of hope? A tapestry woven incorrectly? 77% of Ecuadorians live under the false tapestry of colonial Catholicism. Another 9% follow other religions that offer no hope. What happens when the threads of the gospel are added to the tapestry of life in Ecuador? Perhaps this story will shed some light. One Sunday I was preaching at a new church plant in Quito. I was preaching about salvation. When midway through the sermon, I was interrupted. Brother Timothy, this lady wants to give her life to Jesus now. Rosa had heard the threads of hope, grace, and salvation for the first time. and She could not wait to begin her new life with Jesus Christ. She is now part of God's beautiful tapestry, just like you and I are. How many more Ecuadorians are just waiting to experience the threads of grace, hope, and love? How many will eagerly see these threads woven into the tapestry of their lives? Yet the normal tapestry of life in Ecuador is one of spiritual darkness, difficult lives, and at risk. Our mission is to reach the people of Ecuador through evangelism, compassionate ministry, and by meeting the urgent need for discipleship, pastoral preparation, leadership training, and theological education. Angelita is weaving the threads of hope, love, and encouragement as she is the director of the Children of Promise Sponsorship Program. We join children whose tapestry reflects little to no opportunity to succeed with sponsors who will give financial and spiritual support. It is a Matthew 25 ministry. The local church comes alongside of the children as a spiritual family to help them through life. Under Angelita's leadership, around 100 kids are experiencing the weaving of the divine threads into their tapestry. I am weaving the threads of leadership development and discipleship, teaching and training through the Seminario Educativo Theologia Ecuadoriano. Deep discipleship, pastoral preparation, leadership training, and theological education empowers our brothers and sisters to add divine threads to their own cultural tapestry in a powerful way. 
Friends, now we want you to think of another type of cord. William Carey, the 18th century missionary, once said to a band of his fellow pastors concerning his burden for India's missionary work, Well, I will go down, if you will hold the rope. To which they all gave an oath, saying, While we live, we shall never let go of the rope. Our question to you is this. Will you hold the rope? We are asking you to hold and care for a rope with three strands. The first strand is one of prayer. Nothing happens in God's kingdom without prayer. Will you commit to pray for us along our mission path? The second strand is one of encouragement. It is encouraging to know that we are in your thoughts, in your prayers, and that our ministry is a concern for you. Will you follow our website at ourmissionpath.com so that you can be encouraged by the ministry that you're investing in? Simply go to ourmissionpath.com and click follow and you will be notified every time we update. The third strand is financial support. Will you invest in our ministry through a monthly donation? Will you sign up today 